Hello, friends. I don't know if y'all read comments to the videos here or not, but we have quite a few viewers who have some pretty serious prayer requests. A couple of them I communicate with outside of YouTube, and mo most of them, though, we just communicate through the comment section here. I want to ask y'all to join in praying for these people. I'm not going to call them by name, but there's quite a few, and most of them, most of them involves a son or a daughter or both, and two of them involve, two of them that I know of, there's a couple of them. I don't know what the problem is. I just know there's something serious going on. And they keep asking for prayer, which I'm praying. But uh, a couple of them that I am aware of has X problems and X interfering in their life in a negative way. And so we, we need to pray for one another, and I just wanted to ask y'all to join in praying. Uh, one that is really on my heart, that they all are. You know, there's children problems with several of them, and those are very dear to me. I, I don't want there to be problems with a child in a family so y'all they're all they're all serious one of them though that I was starting to say is a 24 year old girl whose lung collapsed unexpectedly driving down the highway and she suddenly had intense pain and couldn't breathe went to the emergency room at the hospital and was admitted and her lung had collapsed for some reason. Never had a problem with it before. And then all of a sudden it collapsed. And they got it reinflated. But her chest cavity was full of escaped air from when her lung collapsed. And that created a problem. And then it went on to another problem and another problem and another problem. And I was told by her mom the last few days that she's got emphysema a 24 year old girl I never I'm a 24 year old young lady I never heard of anybody that young having emphysema and now they're they had some drain tubes in her lung or in her chest cavity somewhere and they took them out and now they had to put them back in and they're trying to get her into surgery but there's all kind of problems so Y'all just pray, pray for these. The, the ones that has children, and there's ser several of you who has children uh, asking for prayers for your children. And there's other problems. We all have problems, but y'all, we need to be praying for one another uh, constantly. And I just wanted y'all to pray. Y'all, you've seen some of the prayer requests in the comments. I've, I've seen some of them. Some of them as finances. They're just every kind of problem you can imagine just about. So y'all pray for one another if you don't mind. And I got a few scriptures I want to share with you. Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 through 30. And everything I'm going to read you tonight is Jesus himself speaking. It says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And a lot of us are heavy laden. A lot of us. And he says, And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and lean and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly and heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. 
For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And then over in Mark chapter 10, verse 27, Jesus again speaking, he says, And Jesus looking upon them saith, With men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. <clears throat> and I could talk to you about faith. <laughs> We've got to always keep our faith, friends, and we need to do intercessory prayer. We always need to do intercessory prayer for other believers, for the lost, for the brokenhearted, for the ill. We need to be interceding in prayer for others every day. That's it for today. I, I've got something exciting rattling around inside my ball head. I just hadn't pulled all the strings together yet, but don't know when I'll be back. But anyway, y'all pray, please. God bless you, friends.